Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I have a very special tactical pistol. It's not an actual pistol in real life, but is a, it's a really cool pistol. It is a tactical pistol. But yeah, this gun, surprisingly, is a fully automatic pistol that I made, and since it's fully automatic, it comes with lots of different attachments. But yeah, so this gun is 380. It has a dummy round right here that I made. Definitely not up to size with the real one. Looks more like a 22 than a 380 ever would. Um, it has a reprecipitating hammer. It doesn't actually work. You have to put the hammer down for it to actually rack back or cock back, but still pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so this gun took a little bit to make. Um, not a lot of time, just just adding all the details onto it. Um, one of my most proud parts of this gun is actually the pistol grip, where it resembles like a Markov, a Soviet pistol. Um, but yeah, so these pieces right here, these cheese, these green cheese slopes tend to come off very easy. So if you see any green pieces come off, it's probably just those. Um, like you saw in the beginning, it's a slide block. So yeah, so very cool. I tried to make this thing as accurate as I could. It's even got an injector. You can see that little claw piece, and I can see down the chamber. But yeah. But yeah, really cool gun. It's got pretty accurate iron sights. And if you see a gray tip, that's actually this claw or hook piece that you can ever so slightly see over the red piece. But yeah, so really cool. It's got it's got an elastic on the trigger, and the trigger can actually be disassembled. First thing you want to do, take off the. Um, I always get this part mixed up, but yeah, if you twist this, pull this little pin out or this little kind of nut piece, push this axle in and if you look very closely that piece comes out then you're gonna want to pull it so it comes out then you can remove the trigger but yeah it's just four main pieces i guess axle kind of washer piece nut screw trigger whatever yeah, so you, you just kind of insert it through here, put the pin in, and a part, the part that I like the most oh, is, ah, I can't get it in, I have to line it up perfectly, yeah, come on, dang it, but, Basically, it's this jumper plate that's on a pinhole, and you twist it to lock in the axle. There we go. So, you have to twist it this way to lock the axle in from coming out. So, if I tap on the axle, it doesn't come out, but when I undo the axle, or the um, kind of holder, it does come out. So, yeah. You can kind of see it come out. Um, really cool. Um, I like disassembling this gun a lot. I mean, I don't know why, but yeah. So you basically just put the washer back in. Put the nut back in. Put the elastic back around it. And then you've got your working trigger. Just put the trigger guard 
over it. There. Um, now, probably the most unique part of this gun is it's got a stock. It's got a stock, an extended clip, and a silencer, or muzzle brake. Um, now, I didn't know if this was an extended clip or extended magazine. Pretty sure it's an extended clip, but also this is a magazine, so I don't know. I'm going to just go with clip for now, even though it's probably not a clip. Excuse me if I'm wrong, but yeah, I just, it it gets me mad whenever people confuse mags with clips, magazine, magazine. You know what I mean? But yeah, um, the, how the stock goes on is it's got these two little white joints right here. You slide them into the pistol plates, pistol grip plates. They fit perfectly. And it's on an angle because the pistol grips are on an angle. So, um, say if you're looking down the sights, hold on. I'm going to just fix a little part causing the issues. What did I say? Green part came off. But yeah, so, stock perfectly. Absolutely comfortable. Um, it's upside down right now for some reason. <laughs> um... I put it on upside down somehow. How? How did I do that? <laughs> Whatever. Um. Yeah. So. Very cool. It looks ugly. It looks like a disformed alien. Right now. Three eyes. <laughs> but yeah. So. Sock is held on by these. Pins right here, clicks in, and yeah, it's pretty fragile considering it's just long bars connected to a flimsy axle, but yeah, that's that, the muzzle brake, or silencer, it's kind of fragile on the barrel, you just kind of slide it on, you can still do everything like slide lock. At the end, I'll put all the attachments on, but really nothing too special about it, but just a rim with tubes or cylindrical pieces and the extended magazine. This is probably my most favorite attachment because you can do tactical reloads. It came off again. But yeah, there is one issue with the barrel. It likes to break it off sometimes if I drag the slide back too much but simple fix you just put pressure on it but yeah so really fun to play around with it's not heavy enough for it to come out but yeah these plates just keep coming off same with these green pieces but really cool magazine clip whatever and the kind of grooves align with this gray piece right here. So I like that a lot. So we'll just. Yeah, whenever I cock the gun back, this green piece always comes off because it kind of pushes it down my thumb. So when I rack it back, I'll probably find a new piece somewhere to replace it with. But yeah, so. Um, really cool, um, the slide lock is just these two pieces, a stud with a stud bar, along with a bar with a 1x5 bar and a 1x3 bar, so, pretty cool. Um, yeah, not much more really about this gun, I could go on about all the little details, like, all the studs, the magazine everything magwell um you can see through the magwell through the chamber um if i position it properly there we go but yeah so really cool oh yeah it's got an ambidextrous fire selector right here ambidextrous 
just a rod going through the middle. But yeah, really cool pistol. It's got slanted pieces or little cheese slopes all around it. I like that a lot. So yeah, that's basically this whole gun. I mean, the barrel is also pretty realistic because you can kind of see down it. Do that gray part. But yeah, so really cool gun. I, I especially like it to reload it when the hammer is down because you could see it rack back in first person. So if I were to cock it back, it does go all the way if I do it slowly. So obviously if you see, it goes all the way back, but yeah. So it's also got a stopper, which I didn't really mention, but yeah, really cool. Um, it's got slant all over it just to make the gun look authentic, real, and yeah, to also make the magazine look real, um, or real-ish, I put these kind of ball joints, not really ball joints, but um, slanted cheese slopes with a clip that goes on an angle like that. For this one, I just added a long piece like this, exactly like this. So yeah, in I just used an inverted brick technique for this, just to be simple, but... <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll put all the attachments on, like I said I would. But yeah, like I said, this gun resembles kind of a mixture between a Makarov, um, an APS, or an ABS, one of the two. And yeah, this is what the gun looks like. <laughs> with all the attachments on. I obviously can't put the other magazine on because it's pretty self-explanatory. Big boy guns. It's basically like everything that the APS has. Stock, extended magazine, suppressor, fire, and I think it's ambidextrous, fire selector, um, fly block. Basically a mix between a mock and APS, but really cool gun. Yeah, so I'm just gonna strip this gun. Yeah, this has been my tactical Lego pistol. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and goodbye.